The jury got the case about 345 this afternoon and have been in deliberations ever since. Uh, they will now determine the fate of Edward Gallagher. Now, the most serious charge he faces is that premeditated murder charge. We did find out today that he could be convicted of a lesser charge of assault. Now, the jury must go through about two weeks worth of evidence. Both sides delivering closing arguments today. Prosecutors say Chief Edward Gallagher killed the ISIS detainee, bragged about it via text message, and sent a photo of himself posing with the detainee because he was proud of it. They say he even held an impromptu enlistment ceremony because he was so proud of what he had done. They say Navy SEAL Corey Scott lied while on the witness stand claiming he killed the detainee, not Gallagher, to protect him. Prosecutors say the other SEALs, quote, risked it all and told the truth about what happened because they chose the truth over loyalty to Chief Gallagher. However, defense attorneys told the jury no body, no evidence, no case. They say the government's witnesses are young and inexperienced SEALs who hated their old school chief and that this whole case is the product of a botched NCIS investigation, all based on the false premise that Chief Gallagher is guilty. They say the government failed in a, quote, epic way to prove their case. And the jury is made up of five Marines and two members of the Navy. Now, at least five of the seven jurors uh, must vote in favor of guilty for each charge in order for there to be a conviction. Otherwise, they must acquit.